Hi, and welcome everyone to this week's quick tip. And this week, it's a really quick tip. So this time, I want to show you how you can turn every texture into normals using Chess Cinema 4D. I know that there are a lot of programs and plugins out there that can also do that. But if you only have Cinema 4D at your hand, you can also do that in a very simplistic kind of way using baking. And actually, it's a pretty good result. So let's get started by creating a plane. On the plane, we want to create a bake texture. And this we will use to bake our texture later. Then we will create a standard Cinema 4D material. This is not connected to Octane or any other render engine. You can use the outputting normal map, and that's an OpenGL normal map for most of the renderers out there. As we are not interested in shading, let's open the Cinema 4D material here and tick off the reflectance channel. Go into the color and go into the roll down under texture and then go to effects and there you'll find the normalizer. The normalizer's purpose is to take any grayscale image and convert it into a normal map. This can be done during rendering in old Cinema 4D standard render. And we will use this effect though to bake out normal maps. As you might see, the bluish tint of a normal map is slightly lighter than usual. And this is because we are using the linear workflow right now. To counter that, we will go into the structure here again and add a filter on top. In the filter, you want to set a counter gamma. This is one divided by 2.2, the usual gamma. And this gives us a value of 0 0.04545 and uh, Cinema 4D rounds this up to 0 0.455. And this will give us our normal blue again that we are used to with our normal maps. So now when we go into our normalizer, you can put in any texture you like in here. So if you have any textures you want to convert to normals, just load them with the loader. That can be any texture that is grayscale or any other bitmap that can be loaded by Cinema 4D. I, however, will take this a little bit further and make use of Cinema 4D's procedural effects. I will go in here again and pick the gradient. Now the gradient isn't interesting in itself uh, as it will like have a steady slope over the normals here that would be barely visible. So let's go inside of the gradient and set it to box. This also would be reproduced over the whole surface. So let's make it repeat a bit. To make it repeat, go in here one more time and under layer. And under layer, you will find the effect panel here and there the transform. And in the transform, we want to have this repeating 20 times. So let's divide the 1 by 20, that's 0 0.05, so fill in 0 0.05 in the other fields too. And now you can see that the shader ball here is actually displaying some normals going on. If we go back to our normalizer, there are different methods to um, control the strength and also different algorithms to choose from. I usually use Sobel 4 as it gives a bit of a stronger result. If you want to make it even stronger, you can increase the strength, of course. Last but not least, you have to take the material and put it on the plane. Then in the bake texture, we have to choose our texture size. Let's make it 1K. And under options, we have to tick color as we did all that in the color channel and we want to bake it out. If you want, you can also have a safe path name in here, but I usually leave that out because if we don't put in a path and bake that, the picture view will open with a normal map. The last thing you need to do is, of course, to save it out here. You can choose the image format that you want and then have fun with the image in your different renderers. And this will give the varying effects of what you have done here with your texture. And this is actually a way I created many, many normal maps already. And this concludes my quick tip. Have a nice time 
and happy baking.